So to remove the mass airflow sensor, we gotta remove this air filter cover. Unplug this vacuum line. Then release the tension from this hose clamp. And take out the unit. Now we get access to these two screws. Now the unit is out and we've got a three wire connector. So let's go ahead and clean it up first. You need to use this type of mass airflow sensor cleaner because it's gonna leave no layer on the filament. Now while I wait for this guy to dry, let's go ahead and check the voltage values we're gonna find on the connector. So you can compare them at home on your car. So I've got the ignition on. Now I'm gonna take the terminal of the voltmeter and connect it to the ground. We've got the point here. First pin, nothing. Second one, we've got 12 volts. And the third one gotta be five volts. Okay, third one is 3.6 volts. That's pretty strange. Let's go to voltage. This one is nothing, this one is 12 volts. And this one, this one is five volts, as I said. So it looks like you need to choose voltage direct current, not auto, if you have one of these voltmeters. Because 3.6 volts, that's gonna be a problem because you need five volts as a reference and then it will go through the mass airflow sensor and it will come back through the signal wire. Obviously, this pin here on the left is gonna be the signal wire. Now I'm gonna disconnect the terminal from the ground and I'm gonna check the voltage this way. I'm gonna connect this negative terminal on the first pin. And let's see, between pin one and two, we've got 12 volts, obviously, because the signal wire is gonna be connected to the ground. Between one and three, almost five volts. Now let's move it to the middle, and between pin two and three, we've got 7.2 volts. And that's gonna be the difference between the reference wire and the power wire, which delivers 12 volts. So these are the values you need to read at the connector. Okay, so I've got the cover off from the connector. You've got these clips here. Now I'm gonna connect it on the sensor and let's see what voltage values we're gonna see now. I'm gonna connect again this to the ground. 2.8, this is gonna be the signal wire and you can see it's kind of fluctuating and it looks like once I create some airflow, the voltage is changing. This is not possible on many cars, but it looks like it's possible on this one. In the middle, we should find the 12 volts, as always. And here is the reference wire, which is already now passing through the sensor, and therefore we read nothing. I'm gonna turn the ignition off. So let's install back this cover. Okay, clicks in. Now, for example, if you don't find the right voltage on the connector, then you need to test the wires from this point to the computer. You just test for the continuity and you shouldn't find any resistance. Now let's do a resistance test on the sensor itself. We've got only three pins. So let's see, between pin one and two, we've got 201 kilo ohms. Between one and three, we've got 3500 ohms. Now let's move this to pin number two. So between pin two and three, we've got 3,700 ohms. It's very important to do these tests before you replace the mass airflow sensor in the situation that you've got a problem with the engine. Have a nice day and maybe I will see you in the next video.